Hey guys, today is Thursday, August 6th, and today we are leaving for Tennessee. We're going to hit the 127 yard sale, but first I've got a handful of eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first is in C1. There's a couple of spark plugs. I got these last year. I got a ton of these actually for about a quarter each. And I've had them listed for a while for around like $10 free shipping. Somebody sent an offer of $8 free shipping and I accepted. Okay, next is a couple of hats. There's this New York Giants hat and there's another one down here. But there it is. Both of these are new with the tags. They're part of that recent uh, hat buy that I made. So I've got a dollar into each. The pair sold for $34.98 plus shipping. These are both going out to a viewer named Steve. Steve, thank you for the business. Really hope you like these hats. All right, next is up here in H7. And I sold a couple pieces out of here. So I'm just going to pull this whole tote, bring it over. First thing that sold out of here is this fire truck. Um, all of these cars were part of the big Cleveland buy that I went up and made. Um, this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then one buyer bought these two. This fire truck right here. And also this one right here with all the little accessories and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. It's got a little Dalmatian and hose and all that. These two sold for $39.98 plus shipping. And the buyer who got the trucks got a hat right here in A3. This is the San Diego Chargers. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. As always, I'll combine all three of those in the same box and refund the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. All three of those are going out to a viewer named Randy. You guys probably heard me say his name in the last video. He's been buying a lot for me. Randy, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next is up here in A7. This is a Roseville Pottery Serving Bowl. I pulled this out of the storage units that I bought. I typically don't mess with this kind of stuff, but Roseville is pretty desirable, so I went ahead and listed it. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And it's another viewer sale. Viewer named Judith bought this. Judith, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like the bowl. Okay, last thing with shipping is down here in E6. It is one of those science fiction books that I just bought. I've got about 80 or 90 books. I've got a dime into each one. Uh, this one just sold Ring World by Larry Niven. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, all the eBay orders are shipped out. It's time to get on the road. Alright guys, we stopped in Lexington. This is my brother-in-law Brennan behind me. Hey guys. Him and his wife Jessica are coming on this trip with us. Stopped and got some food and something we like to do when we go on road trips is get scratch-off tickets. We're not big gamblers, but anytime we go on a road trip, we gotta get some scratch-offs. Speak scratch -offs. for yourself, John. Are you a big gambler? I'm a big gambler. Yeah? I love to gamble. You gotta make some big money? Big money. I, I usually lose, but I still like it. What are you gonna get? What'd you get? Oh, well, I got a scratch-offs. Oh, no. What do you mean, what did I get? We got Subway. Subway. And some chips and some caffeine. Need some caffeine. I'm All right, one scratch off for everybody. Yay! Got about four more hours left to drive still. Yeah. All right, we made it. That was a really long drive. This place is on a mountain, so super windy road getting up here, but this place is really pretty. I call the hammock. Oh, there's a hammock? Right over there. There's a hammock. Ooh. That's nice. You guys know this guy? Hey! Hey CP channel. Lining is down here with his daughter and Kevin the Tennessee Picker is staying with us. And he found some stuff. Yeah. Man, is this all from today? No, this was from yesterday. Most of it is from yeah. yesterday. This is today. Is this all stuff you found on 127? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I came out 40 west and when i got to crossville i headed north when i hit 127 so this is about mm, 30 miles north of 127 i-40 intersection this is where i found all this stuff so i got these merrill boots i paid i think five bucks for those that's a good find these are sealed eight hour tk tapes but i found a playstation 3 a PlayStation 1, and there's a PS2 Fat I didn't bring in here that I got for, I think, 35 for all three of them. 
That's the coolest thing you got right there. The, do the chest computer thing. Though. Okay. The Casper off? Yeah. This was a buck at a yard sale. Oh, man. Look it up. What, who makes that? Kasparov Express. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll look it up. Yeah, that's cool. And then I got this Game Boy for five bucks. Um, it powers on. The screen does that. Mm -hmm. But I think when you put a game in. You can click, yeah. I think when you put a game in, that'll yeah, clear up. It probably will. Yeah, but this was five dollars. Oh, I've sold one of these. Yeah, about a year I told, ago. I told, I told him that when I saw it. Yeah, what did you have to get for it? I, I paid the forty. Did you? But there is a comp for a used one for one twenty. Nice. So, in the end, make sure uh, you do a video. Hey, that's what sells those things. Look, just to let y'all know that that Casparol, that's a sold sixty one seventy four plus twenty three dollars shipping. What? That th that thing could probably be shipped first class package. Why are yeah. they charging that much? I don't know. But yeah, you got a good find here oh, for a bunch. That's awesome. If you guys don't watch Kevin's channel, he just recently bought seven thousand dollars of vintage new old stock toys, <laughs> just like this huge, huge collection of stuff. So definitely check that out. Highly entertaining stuff. You got some really good pieces in that. Look, this is all I got. All right, man, what'd you find today? I got that that's a kitchen. That's a oh, Sony yeah. under the cabinet. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not a real good one though. Uh what is this? That's a uh, handy cam and a bunch of bowling wow like old like from the 60s bowling ephemera bowling. yeah i sold an old bowling trophy from like the 50s for uh, like 75 bucks and then this is something i'm really an expert on supposedly what do you think it is what do you think i'm an expert on what am i known for bibles yes good call found a bunch of uh oh, wonder man. bibles they're all brand new in the box. What'd you have to pay for these? I paid two bucks a pop. Wow. So I have eight of them. So forty dollars retail, huh? Yeah, but they're getting like I'll probably get about eighteen to eighteen bucks plus shit. That's pretty good. So that's all I bought. Wow. Slim pickings today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow be, will be better. You know what though? Like we were being we were being very picky. Uh, picky. That's good. Because like there was one point. There was a DVD VCR combo, and it was five bucks. And I went, "Hey Kevin, there's a combo." Like, nah. Yeah. So if it like, was a recorder, maybe. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I said. No, I would have got the recorder. Yeah, recorder. Oh yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah. bucks. And that is gonna be it for this video, guys. So stay tuned. I'll make a video for what we hopefully find tomorrow at the sales.